engineer 775 back on another job um, excited about this one it is a magnum job here working with gain solar and johnny valentine and the crew his favorite inverter i think is the magnum but now the cool thing is magnum has just come out with a new grid tie inverter called a gt500 so we're gonna do a, our first ac coupling of a grid tie inverter with a magnum so um we're just setting up in this building we're using this one of the portable buildings being used um, for a lot of different things, a place for somebody to stay, but also for the this backup power system. So we're going to mount a magnum on the wall, and we're going to series this battery up. We've got um, eight of the roll serrets, really nice AGM battery, and the magnum. We're going to start making some battery cables now and uh, get to work. So, and we're going to put uh, 14 modules up on the roof. Got a lot of electrical work to do, so let's get to work. Okay, we're on day two of our installation here with the new Magnum GT500. These are micro GT500 grid interactive inverters, and uh, they their max AC output is to is uh, 500 watts. You hook them to two solar modules, so we're excited to to do this. What this is allowing us to do at a pretty reasonable price compared to a DC coupled is to AC couple solar to the Magnum. So we've got our Magnum here started and we've got our AGM battery bank we're going to use. We usually do, as you've seen in a lot of our videos, lead acid, flooded lead acid, FLAs, these are AGMs, and uh, just a 400 amp hour roll serrette battery bank with the 4448 PAE Magnum Inverter. These are the bulletproof off-grid inverters. Grid interactive, but not grid tied. So being able to, this is the best of both worlds, a very robust and reliable inverter coupled with these inverters. And so they're able to sell back power, you get credit for that, but they're also able to do um, battery charging off of them. So the Magnum, the newer Magnums have the ability to uh, do three stage battery charging by dithering. I'm not exactly sure of the algorithms or anything but they have a new controller and software in them to allow them to control the output of uh, the inverter and charge the batteries nicely. Obviously the Magnum has an awesome onboard AC charger and uh, using grid but now it can do the same with the grid tie grid interactive inverter so there's a couple other gizmos that we haven't used before and I think this is the other one and this is the mag web so that the folks can have some a portal uh, to see how what their production is from the grid tie inverters so we're just getting going here day two it's a rainy rainy job but we're getting it done Gonna put up a couple of critical loads panels today, build the array. And he's gonna show you and explain to you the new Magnum GT micro inverter. But I'm also gonna talk about these fancy feet. The, the DPW Easy Post, I like to call it the fancy foot. There's that DPW Easy Post we're using. It's got butyl tape on the back. It takes six GRK screws. It's got a quarter inch, no, five sixteenths bolt and it's uh, threaded so we just bolt the stud the roof right onto it or bolt the uh, L foot right onto it and that's how we get up high off the roof which keeps the panels cooler and the micros cooler and if you ever to get up under there and grab one pull it off or something you can actually pull it off without having to take the panels these are the new GT500 micro inverters for Magnum they are new for Magnum they're actually a rebranded AC or a, a YC500 from APS, which is a second largest microinverter manufacturer in the world. And what they did is they've got this 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 little uh, two-panel microinverter outputs 500 watts. It talks to the Magnum. So now the Magnum, and this this is wired into the secure load panel of the Magnum. Now the Magnum can 
control these microinverters in the event of a power outage and uh, actually you know ramp up and ramp down the production so that it can get three stage battery charging and and power loads directly off the solar array which makes the magnum work harder by shifting the frequency of its output that's what the magnum does it just dithers that 60 hertz ever so slightly and ramps up and down the production we also have the benefit of the micro inverters we have a um, our rapid shutdown the minute you kill AC power at the root uh, down at the uh, disconnects by the meter there's no power DC power or any live voltage up on this roof makes it real safe for firefighters and um, oh most of the loads during day-to-day -day operations when the grids up it, these are the inverters that are running all the time and the magnums not having to run and work and cycle the battery you're getting all the savings you want but then when the power goes out you get the battery back up and the high efficiency of the AC coupling it's just awesome all around I miss anything boss it's just awesome all around I like that yeah and the maximum amount of uh, solar you can put on one magnum is uh, 14 panels Compared to what you've done before, I mean, tell the value of the, I mean. Oh, yeah. For, this is awesome. Price. Yeah, the only, it's a little more expensive for the microinverters instead of a charge controller. It's a little more expensive for using a SEAL battery, which is the right battery for a grid-tie battery backup application. But, you know, the benefits you get are awesome. You get really good savings, high efficiency, smaller wire runs. We're, we're running a number 12 up to this solar array, which is awesome. Okay, it's day three. Battery bank is wired, and we're connected in with the the Magnum. So, and we've also run our AC inputs, AC outputs. We've uh, run to critical loads panels, and we are now running a well pump circuit. We've run some auxiliary water heating options, whether we do a geyser or a low voltage water element or propane. So we went ahead, and this is a lot of times what we what we do um, at the request of the customer, and we just know what they're going to kind of know anticipate what they're going to want. So this uh, this will give this person a lot of flexibility to run a lot of different loads. Now he has the capability of running too many things because we only have 4,400 watts continuous to work with, but um, in a grid. We're actually going to do one of the interlock make or break interlocks. I think it's Siemens that uh, will switch. You can, can't have, this is a sub panel with a 100 amp breaker and then we have a 30 amp feeder from the radio, uh, sorry, from the Magnum and so we want to make sure that there's no back feeding going on so we'll, it's called a breaker interlock and so we need to get that put in here ASAP. Okay we're in a mechanical room and we have moved, you see the blanks in here, we've moved the critical circuits over to our critical loads panel. Got it nicely labeled. We're still uh, trying to figure out this mag web where we're going to mount it. But uh, let me see if I can get you some numbers here. So a thousand watts. It's like five o'clock. So still doing really well here. It gives you. I guess it, this is all local area network, so I cannot log on to this to monitor the system. I believe. Um, I might be wrong on that. But I believe it's just LAN. It just needs power. It is Wi-Fi. And so now we have our power coming in. The solar array is back feeding again on a 20 amp breaker. It's all AC coming down from the GT500s. We move the well circuit from the other side of the house into this critical loads panel. The main panel is supplying power to this panel. It's the 30 amp. Then all the usuals that we do. Washing machine and lights and receptacles, smoke alarms. We put in future plans, heat pump water heater maybe, a geyser, and we also have a double 20, where'd we put that, um, magwood receptacle, I think the only thing left is the water heater, which needs to be, yeah, we put that, ran that underneath and put a disconnect for future, even though he's propane now, um, this has been a nuisance I guess they're replacing this with a propane water heater and we're going to possibly hook a geyser to it and they'll be able to make hot water kind of put it on a timer while there's sunshine make hot water 
and then only use your propane if you have to. So this is a very reasonable solar system. I know you've seen a lot of complicated systems, um, expensive stuff on my channel lately. That's just uh, the work that's been put in front of me. So this one is just, a, I think this is probably the biggest bang for the buck, this system so far. The Magnum system with this new GT inverter. So the why I say the biggest bang for the buck is you can send the power back and grid tie and you have battery backup and uh, with one inverter and no charge controllers just these grid tie inverters so really really think this is the the most economic um, flexible most flexible system that we've put in yet um, Johnny with Gain Solar he's been waiting he saw these coming out about a year ago we've just been watching and waiting it's our first system. We got another one to do behind this. So, if you're looking for a, a nice package that does everything, um, th this is pretty good. I mean, for a small system, again, it's only a 4kW or solar array, but uh, just awesome. So, we're very, very thankful for it. So, let me uh, kind of wrap this up. I'm show Okay, here's the AC side of the house. We've got the solar coming down from the roof through the attic into its AC disconnect. We have an AC disconnect for the Magnum with the battery. Everything ties into our wiring trough. We have a Reliance generator transfer switch, AC lightning arrestor we added, and then we ran um, critical loads and well pump circuit all the way to the other side of the house. Uh, to put in the critical loads panel and then uh, and also the power that comes back for battery charging from the GT Magnums comes back through here and then off to off to the building and so we bring the power into the this little shed that is used for used for housing the system so we are charging batteries, AC coupling to the Magnum, and we are been all over the place. Yeah, so it's backed off. We're down to 252 watts coming in. Batteries are doing great, and we've given them the ability to run power everywhere and power the building that we're in. So, pretty good job here. Uh, three um, three days of just getting it, working really hard crew of four guys and um, plus all the driving time so I think three days is pretty impressive to get all this done again this is the biggest bang for the buck system that we have done so far wouldn't you say so Johnny I'd say so I'd say it's hot outside it's hot outside we're, we're in here just filming because this is where the air conditioning is would you say this is the biggest bang for the buck system that we've done so far battery backup and high efficiency and all the bells and whistles of grid tie battery backup. It's got it all. This is compact, quick, easy. Yeah, I've been getting hassled for all the complicated stuff and the big high dollar stuff. This, this is a system that is within reach of a lot of folks. So if you need help or you want a system spec'd out that can do grid tie, battery backup, and uh, not waste a watt, let us know. We'd be glad to help you. And these batteries, the new AGMs just keep getting better and better. So if you don't want to deal with checking specific gravities, adding water, and doing all that, they're they're coming out with eight to ten year life AGM batteries. So why not if they're that good? So we're not ready to jump into the lithium ions yet. That's coming, but until then, we're gonna use good old Magnums. Engineer seven seven five signing out. Mm -hmm.